During our Farm Basics time today, we're going to talk about what could potentially be an unfortunate thing we may see a lot of this spring. It's fallow syndrome. All right, Brian said fallow syndrome. Let's break this down. Fallow means we didn't have a crop for a year. Fallow syndrome is the year after you didn't get a crop planted. So in 2019, if a farmer didn't plant a crop, now in 2020, he could potentially have fallow syndrome in those fields. So what fallow syndrome is, is I'll just give you the example of corn. Corn early in the season will turn purple. And if you are running soil tests, you go, what? There, this corn shouldn't turn purple. I have a good level of phosphorus in my soil. Well, what happens is mycorrhiza fungi will actually take phosphorus and help bring it into the plant. It'll convert it into a form the plant can use in some cases, but it will bring that phosphorus to and into the plant. Well, if you don't have mycorrhiza fungi out there, then you have a problem. Why would you not have mycorrhiza fungi out there? Because you had a fallow year the year before. So that leads us to this fallow syndrome where the corn turns purple. Why is there less mycorrhiza fungi out there? It's because it didn't have a host the year before. In other words, there wasn't anything growing there that supported the mycorrhiza fungi, or because it flooded out. If it flooded out, then there was no oxygen to support the mycorrhiza fungi. This can be a real challenge, and you may say, wow, I did flood out last year on some ground. How can I beat this? Is there a way for me to overcome this yep. without well, suffering a loss? Okay, so first of all, this is one of the reasons why we encourage people to use cover crops in a fallow year. And you have to be careful about the cover crop because, for example, radishes do not support mycorrhiza fungi. If you only raised radishes last year, you most likely will have fallow syndrome this year and you should not raise corn. Okay, now, yes, there are microbial treatments. You can buy mycorrhiza fungi. You can put more phosphorus out there. You can do things to try to overcome this fallow syndrome, but nothing is going to give you one, get you back to 100%. So our advice is, if you had nothing growing last year, no crop, no cover crop, no weeds on that field, and it was flooded ground, we would suggest planting soybeans because corn, if you plant that, you're probably gonna see it turn purple and you're not gonna maximize yield. Brian, it brings up one other point. When, when farmers look at ground like this and say, wow, I've never had that problem in this field before, but now I've got this problem. Or maybe it's, I've had this problem in this field, but it's every third or fourth year. What can be done to fix things? You mentioned oxygen levels in the soil, and that's a really big one. And you also mentioned too much water. Once again, we're talking about, hey, if you have flooded ground, this is a big problem. So what do you do to alleviate flooding? Well, in a lot of cases, you should put some drain tile in if it's just high water table levels. You're never gonna fix it if the river can completely wash you out. That happened on some of our ground this year. We're not gonna go spending millions of dollars to build levees along our fields to prevent that from happening since it only happens once every 10 or 20 years. But my point here is if there is some way that you can do something about better drainage, that's great because mycorrhiza fungi absolutely need oxygen and they need a host plant. And as long as you keep that mycorrhiza fungi going, then you should not have a fallow syndrome issue in the future. Unfortunately, our weed of the week is probably not that host plant that you're looking for out in your field. Can you identify this week's weed? 